Hello everybody, my name is Paul Tace. In this video, we are going to be looking at how we can get our drone to follow us using Active Track Mode. Now this can only be done in a third party software. I'm going to be using Litchi. Let's get started. Okay guys, so as I said in the intro, we're going to be testing out Active Track on the Mavic Mini. Now I'm doing this using Litchi, and Litchi is actually a third party app, which you'd have to download separately. Um, one thing that put me off doing this straight away uh, was that it's £21. I didn't know if it would be worth that money. And uh, also, um, I tried this with Droplink before, which is a different program, and my phone wasn't actually good enough to work with it. But I know from previous videos you guys are really keen on Active Track, so I really wanted to do this video to cover it. I'm actually using the iPhone 5SE here, which is ancient, but it's just still working really well on it. Now Litchi will also work on the Android, and uh, this particular version is beta, so it's not open to everyone yet. However, if you do have Android, you do get access to it a lot easier. I had to jump through hoops and send emails to get access to the beta version. So if you do want to use this on your Mavic Mini, uh, just bear in mind, you may have to wait until the updates come out for Litchi. Okay guys, so with all of that in mind, let's go and have a closer look at the Litchi app. Okay everybody, this is my first time trying out the active track mode and I'm not entirely sure how to use it yet, so this is just me playing about. So the first thing I needed to do was click the FPV button in the top left hand of the corner and then click on track. Now this is going to set it to active track mode. At this point you can use your fingers to pinch across the screen to choose your object. Um, I've actually missed myself here, so I've had to click the X and then reselect myself. Once you've done that you'll get these options turn up on the left and uh, it can follow you as you move around. Now I haven't actually told it to follow me yet using the um, the arrow with the man pointing towards it on the top left hand corner of the screen and uh, when you try doing that it tells you the camera is not in the right place. So the first thing I found with this uh, which isn't perfect is that you have to be shooting at a certain height. So I raised the altitude and tried again and I get a warning up telling you just to make sure you know what's going on around your surroundings. After doing that you can see as you'd expect, the Mavic Mini is following me. So I started to run, just to, just to see if it can keep up with the speed. <laughs> not, even, not that I'm at that fast. But um, it does a good job at following me around. Uh, overall it does look fairly smooth, but I should be an easy object to track because um, I'm a black and blue object on a green background. So, so far it's done a pretty good job at following me from behind, following me from in front, and also following me side to side. So as I kept testing this, something I did find out was that as I moved to the side, it started to track my shadow more than it tracked myself. I can only guess this is because there's going to be more contrast between the shadow and the grass than myself and the grass. But after walking back in the frame, it did pick me up for a bit. But it's gone orange and you can see it's starting to lose me. It did, however, continue to follow me. So I tried the run test again and uh, it thinks I'm bigger than I am, but it's still heading in the right direction even if it is a bit further away now. So uh, I can't complain too much, as I say this is a third party app. So now let's take a closer look at the final footage and just have a little walkthrough of what we think. Now when I play the footage back it does look fairly smooth and it's certainly usable uh, particularly for things like vlogging or YouTubing. But I'm not sure how good it would be at professional level. It's certainly not up to standard that DJI have with some of their other drones, but then again, the Mavic Mini is not designed for this and it doesn't have the obstacle avoidance sensors to cope should there be anything in the way. But something to bear in mind, this is still in the beta stage. So there do seem to be some limiting factors, such as uh, what angle you can shoot at, what height you can shoot at, and how well it actually tracks you on a particularly sunny day. So I'd be really interested to know what you guys think of it. Uh, is this something that you would use and is it worth the money? Also, uh, Litchi app does a lot of other things. Would you be interested in more videos? Or is this quite simply something you would not download? Let me know in the comment section down below and I hope to see you in the next one.